Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the brand new method that can help you to bypass the AdLoad activation lock screen on the latest iOS 16.4.1 and 16.4 with your network working that means your SIM card will work and all other iServices including your iCloud login, FaceTime, Siri like everything will work after the iCloud bypass. It's a full activation method so we will see each and everything in this practical process. So without any further delay let me just go to my computer screen and start this process. Alright now first you need to download the tools so just check out the description or go to my blog you will get this mega link after that download the hfz ram this universal version 3.3 latest at the moment now once you have installed just run the tool now here is the tool interface. Now very important, before you register or use the tool, first of all you need to check your device compatibility. This is my iPhone X that is running on the latest iOS 16.4.1 and 16.4 and this is the already registered device in the server. So I will just show you another device that is not registered and how you can check the compatibility from the starting and then you can register it. So first of all you need to connect your device and stay on the activation lock screen with Wi-Fi connected. Now you will see the tool is checking the compatibility of the device will take a little while so till then just connected your device and then you will see the sim lock status and your device is supported for the booting or not. So now you can see it asking you to boot your device so click on ok. Now next you will see the boot option will be highlighted on the tool that means we are ready for the boot so click on that. Also you will see the sim lock status and MEID or GSM are supported so everything will written on the tool. So now you can see at the time of click on boot your device device will go into the recovery mode automatically and then you will see the DFU instruction. Next you need to put your device into the DFU mode. So now after that you will see a quick preboot of your device and exploit will run on the device. So just stay connected. This is the very important step if you want to register it. First you need to perform this booting option. Then you can see your device is eligible or supported or not. So now you can see it asking you to wait for the magic. So just wait for it to get complete. So now the device is on and it will again connect with the tool and you will see the sim lock status is unlocked and the other information and make sure that your device is sim locked. If your device is carrier locked or sim locked or blacklisted that means it's not supported for the bypass with network and the bypass supported device is iPhone X and lower. So you can check the compatibility and then you can use the tool and register it. So now you will get this prompt like your iPhone is supported by the SIM or network and everything is there. If your device is SIM locked or carrier locked and SIM is locked that means your device is not supported with the SIM bypass then you can do the without SIM bypass. Videos are already on my channel on that so you can watch. So now these are the process for checking the device compatibility before you register in the server. Now for the registration it's very simple. You just need to copy your device serial number. After that just contact me for that you can check out the description link or go to my blog you will get my all official social media handle links you can check out my personal telegram and then you can contact me there with your serial number and the model name and i will register it and for the prices i will display it on the screen according to the models so you can check them out now once your device is registered you are ready to use the tool now this is the iphone x i have already registered the device in the server so i will just perform the complete bypass on this device that is iphone x running on the ios 16.4 or 16.4.1 both are supported so now you can see it asking you to boot the device. Click on OK. Click on the boot device option. And then recovery mode and DFU. The same you followed previously.
Now sometimes tool will ask you to boot the device again and again. In that case you can flash your device with the iTunes or 3 tools and then you can retry it. So now you can see this time it will highlight the activate device button that means your device is supported and already registered so now you can click on the activate device button and then you can proceed for the complete bypass so just click on that and wait for your device to complete bypass. So now you can see in just less than a minute your device is successfully activated and bypass is done. Now just open your device and simply set up it. It's very easy you just need to boot your device, register it, check compatibility and then use it. It's just a one minute game and everything will done in that. So now just simply set up your device and see. So now you can see we are on our data and privacy page the device is successfully bypassed. Now simply set up the device to the home screen. Alright so here we are welcome to the iPhone. We have successfully bypassed our iPhone X on the latest iOS 16. So you can follow the same process for all these supported devices. And this bypass is completely untheaded bypass so you can reboot your device without any issues it will not lock again so now you can see that it's on and also you can use your sim card your iCloud login services everything will work so I will just show you step by step each and everything so first let me just insert the sim card Now once you insert your sim card, your carrier name and setting will refresh. Sometimes the signal will not show on the first time, you can just reboot the device. After that you will see signals and the carrier name on the top. And now you can see that everything looks good. Let me just go to the settings and show you the carrier name is also showing there. Now let me just place a call and show you the calling is also working. So everything looks good, calling is working. You can also try other eye services. So let me just show you one by one. So now I have tested the Apple login, FaceTime, Siri, App Store, so everything work. Also you can reboot the device after all the iServices, you can still use it after the reboot also. So it will not affect any functionality of the device after the reboot also, so that's pretty good. So you can see that everything looks good after the reboot. So this is all for the HFZ Ramdesk Universal Activator 3.3 that support the latest iOS 16.4.1.
with the network working and other eye services so you can register your device also and easily use this bypass on all the supported devices so just check out the description link for the complete information so i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out